folks, I did it again. I didn't pick up my mail for several months. Hi, hello there, how are you all doing? I hope you're all doing well. So, as you've seen by the title and the shocked thumbnail, I have nine months worth of scroller boxes to open. I know it seems crazy that it's been like nine months since my last video. Basically, hello, if you are new here, I have a PO box that I don't particularly live near and I don't check it very often because, but before we start, I wanted to let you know really quickly that today's video is kindly sponsored by Skillshare. I'll tell you a little bit more about them later on in the video. For now, if you would like to get a free trial of Skillshare for the first 1,000 of you, check out the link in the description to get access to thousands and thousands of online classes in art, illustration, painting. Okay, so I do not particularly know the order in which these boxes came. You would think there would be some sort of label. There, I mean, there's plenty of label. So this is the order in which they came. We are going to open them in order. So what I can do is just like, I guess, take them from the bottom. So starting off with the June box, very excited for this. We've got June here. Now, this was a debate that I had with myself and my audience last time. I pronounce this as Zine. People are telling me it's pronounced Zine, like magazine. I've pronounced it Zine because I was like, okay, mine, sign, fine, shine. But a lot of people are telling me it's pronounced zine. Even though some videos online did tell me it's pronounced zine. Notes from the artist, then you have a bunch of artwork that people have made with a schooler box. So if you do subscribe to schooler box and you tag them on their Instagram or whatever, then you have a chance of being featured in their zine. You also get some artwork inside that the artist made with, I believe, these supplies. Also, I don't think I mentioned these were sent to me, by the way, for free, very kindly by schooler box. So inside this box, you also have a watercolor studio pad 10 sheets by gold line it's really really good hopefully i've never used it i'm talking like i've actually used it before i haven't <laughs> and inside our little goodie bag we have three derwent pencils we have ivory black prussian blue and terracotta and these are watercolor pencils next up we got a little sticker you get a sticker every single month which i like a lot we have our little menu, which tells you everything that is inside the box. And last but not least, we have Jackman's Art Materials in mint green shimmer, pearlescent pink shimmer, and pearlescent silver shimmer. These magical sparkling pearlescent watercolour pots have all the same high quality characteristics of professional grade watercolours with the addition of pearlescent particles. Cool, okay. I've never heard of these before, but they look like they'll be really good. And I've just realized I never showed you the paintbrush it came with. This is just a sea white basic little paintbrush there for the watercolors. Very cute. So this is a fun little box. Sponsored break. Okay, so I've just realized I've taught 16,000 people on my Skillshare classes out of all three, which is amazing. And I know I've been threatening to do another class for a year, but within the next few months, I'm definitely gonna make a brand new class all about acrylics. Do you have a lot of ambition? Do you like to learn? No, okay. Do you like hobbies or you're sick of your job and looking to try something different? Skillshare. Now bear with me. I know you probably skip sponsored stuff usually, but seriously, this website has it all. Whether you're looking to learn how to freelance, run a business, be more productive, learn how to draw, everything you need is on Skillshare. It's an online learning community for creatives where millions of people come together to take the next step in their creative journey. It's perfect for creative people, lifelong learners, working creatives, beginners, pros, dabblers, and you masters out there. This new class by Anna Sokolova called Modern Monotype Magic Create Unique Arts in Minutes with Gouache and Procreate shows you a really, really unique way and technique to use gouache and procreate to make some art that is very simple yet really beautiful. And as with all Skillshare classes, she goes really in depth, step by step, as to how you can create it too. Now, Skillshare classes have a combination of video lessons and a class project. So when you complete the class, you can post your project, which will be seen by the teacher. You can get feedback from the community of millions. And most classes are 60 minutes or less with short lessons to fit any schedule. The best part is there are new premium classes launching all the time. Plus, if English is not your first language, their entire catalog of classes is now available with subtitles in Spanish, French, Portuguese, and Dutch. And as always, thank you so much to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. Next up, we have our July box. And this one is quite a thick one. So we'll see what's inside here. 
Breath Fantasy. So we have our, again, our Zine or Zine. I'm just going to call it Zine. I'm sorry if it offends people. But we have our Zine there. I'm wondering if this is going to be an alcohol ink based one. So that is very alcohol ink esque. Oh, yeah, on the back. Jess Kirkman is a, an award winning designer who specializes in alcohol inks, resin, and encaustic mediums. Very cool. I love alcohol inks, they're a lot of fun. Very, very just loose and interesting to use. But yeah, we have a Yupo pad. Yupo pad? Yupo, Yupo pad? Don't know how to pronounce that. <laughs> An A510 sheet pad. Then we've got our little goodie thing. And inside we've got sticker. Always good to have a little sticker there. The drawing challenge is Nebula, so that's good. And we have a bunch of alcohol inks. I used these from Jazz's box that he released those three piece box sets like a year ago now, but they were really, really good. They're a lot of fun. They smell, but they are very nice. Whoops. <laughs> so here we go. We've got the little alcohol inks there. We have a Caribbean magenta and an extender, which is also a dilutant um in order to kind of create those little bubble effects i believe but don't quote me on that um we also have a diamond sparkle the ultimate of the alcohol inks this is really pretty because it gives it that nice little sparkle next up we have a straw oh wait okay it's probably so you can like blow on the inks to go and then you get like the little the dot dot things also liking that they used a cardboard straw instead of a plastic one because there's really no need to use plastic for this kind of craft. So good job, scroller box. Also, we got a drumstick. This is cool. This is a very, very like British or European kind of candy. So one thing that's fun about these boxes is if you are not British and you want to try some British candy, it's a good way to try it. We also have a little dropper here. So this is obviously again to do with the, the dropping of the alcohol inks. I love stuff like this. It's just so relaxing. If you're looking to do something relaxing without, without too much pressure, try alcohol inks. They are a lot of fun. And then you also have a masterstroke craft and decor paintbrush. And I think that's it. Yes. Yeah, so that one is a good box. I forgot to mention to you, by the way, the ninth box is actually like a mystery box. I received this and it says it's from Scrawler Box. It says Scrawler Box Blanks Mug Gift Set. So I'm not really sure what this is other than it's probably a mug of some kind, but I figured I'd wait till last to open this because it's not a subscription box, but we'll see what it is. Next up, we have September. No, August. I'm getting ahead of myself. Oh, this one's filled up. We got another sticker and then, oh, milk chocolate covered toffee by Walkers. I like how I'm just like casually showing you like a beauty guru. Oh, this is the chocolate. This is the sweet in the, in the box. It's not focusing. There, it's lovely. Very shiny. <laughs> oh, are these paint pens? Let's see. So we have a writer for vellum memory system. I don't know. It doesn't say pigment ink. So it's an ink pen. Oh, with a little fine line and nib. Gotta love those. And then on the other side, is it a brush nib? No, it's a bullet nib. That's okay. I don't, I'll try to hide my disappointment that it's a bullet nib. <laughs> Joke aside, this looks like a really nice pen. Then we have a one for all acrylic twin Molito original Marco. Oh no, it's another bullet nib. And then we've got another bullet nib, but it's a smaller bullet nib. This is black. Then we also have a green. Oh no, sorry, Lagoon Blue. I tell a lie, this is a Lagoon Blue. Looks more like Lagoon Green to me, but I'm not gonna be critical. Then we have what is actually Lagoon Blue, but what is it? Shock Blue. Then we have a Uniball Signo. These are without a doubt my favorite white gel pens. These are such nice gel pens. I really do enjoy them a lot. And then we also have a Derwent Line Marker in pink or rose. And then for the pad, we have, oh, here's the artwork. Oh, that's very unique, actually. That is very, very different. I like that a lot. We have our, our zine or our zine here with the artist Capasso. I'm very sorry if I said that wrong. And apparently they've packed either a yellow, red, or pink line marker. So everyone got something different as well. So if you got this box, let me know what, what marker you got. And then last but not least, we have three thick pads that you can use um, with these paint markers. I've never really painted or used a board like this before, so I'm guessing these would be quite nice to use because they're very smooth. They don't have a lot of tooth to them, but they'll be really nice. 
Next up, we have our September box. So let's get opening it. I really should just have my bin right here instead of just throwing it on the floor and then crawling around on the floor trying to pick it all up after the video. Whoop! Ooh, what is this? An art graph, water soluble. I kind of hate it how art stuff is so fancy sometimes that they don't actually tell you what it is. And normally you should probably just understand what it is, but I do not sometimes. It's just an excellent tool for drawing and painting apparently. So looks like an eraser, but it is not an eraser. It's one of those fancy things where they don't specifically tell you what it is because they don't want to just say it's a crayon. So inside here we have a cute little sticker. Oh dear. My candy melted. I think it's probably because it was in my PA box for like four months. So what is a blackjack candy? And then we have a pit graphic graphite matte faber castell 14b pencil with some candy and some cardboard stuck to it we have a 6b a faber castell gold faber a tortillion which is like a cotton bud but for artists kind of but made out of paper instead of cotton it's not really anything like a cotton bud to be honest but you can use a cotton bud as the same purpose <laughs> and then last but not least we have well it's not last because we also have the design and then the art I always admire people that can use art supplies like this because they're so messy and I hate being messy with art. I mean, I get art on me every, well, the supplies on me every time, but I do not enjoy being a messy artist. And then we have a Multi-Techniques Denim Blue A5 paper. Very cute. I think they sent this once before. So it's like blue paper. Gives you a lot of chance to use different supplies because I personally would never buy any of this stuff. But the fact that it's in a box means it's like, oh, it's a new art supply every month. I might give it a try and then you might find something new that you really like. That's why I enjoy them. And then in here we have a Derwent charcoal block and graphite block, graphite block set. These are, unfortunately, they're a little bit cracked, but honestly, I think graphite tends to, to break quite easily, so I'm not too concerned. But yeah, this, personally, this box is not something I would ever, like, consider buying myself from a shop, because it's just one of those things that I'm just so messy with, and I don't enjoy being messy, again, with my art supplies, but I really love that I have the option if I want to try something different. And the artist for this one was... Robert Dutton. That is really cool. You have obviously like a, a nice breakdown here of the artist and the kind of works they make as well. Very, very beautiful stuff. Oh, and I really love how in the last box, the theme of the box was Nebula and someone actually made Nebula from Guardians of the Galaxy. Next up. Okay, we're steaming through this. We have four more boxes left. We've been through four. Well, we have five if we include this big white one. But next up, let's open up this bad boy and see what's inside. We have, oh, I've opened it backwards. Spoiler alert, let's go to the bottom box. So this one is the October box. Nicely packaged, very cool. Very, very pretty um, design there. This artwork's really cool as well. I love the colors on it. Alexandra Olivia is the artist of this one. She's known for her colorful and intricate illustration. I can definitely see that. We have A5 marker paper. So basically I'm guessing this box is gonna be a marker box as we can tell by the marker paper, but we've got that, which is nice. In here, we have, let's see, we have a sticker of the same artwork. Out of the lamp is the theme. I'm not sure what you would do with that, but that is the theme for the October box. <gasps> we've got the ultimate. We have Copic markers in our scroller box. This is actually a good deal as well, because I think the scroller box is something like $25 around there. And these usually cost like $7 each. So that's $21 right there. And the colors are beautiful. We got canary yellow, strong red, and aqua. Next up, we have a little kneadable eraser from Faber Castell. We have a uni pin fine liner, which is waterproof and fade proof pigment ink. And last but not least, we have a Faber Castell pencil, which is like a grip pencil. I actually like the way that feels. Like it's, I can see why that would be quite nice to make art with. You might end up getting like little indentations on your fingers, I will say that, but it feels quite nice because it's one of those triangular shapes. And then we have a sweet. I really like that. That was probably my favorite box so far. I really, really enjoyed using that one. I didn't use it. I really enjoyed opening that one. Next up, we're gonna go into our November box. So let me just, yeah, make me the right one. 
This one is starting to expand and like come out. So hopefully nothing exploded in there. <laughs> Our zine, as always. Art print, which is by Akanash. Akanaksha Bolario. I'm so sorry if I said your name wrong. She's from India, living in Toronto. That is awesome. Love this. I love work like this. It's so detailed. I absolutely am fascinated by work like that. <gasps> Ooh, this is nice. We've got an actual full-blown sketchbook from Fabriano here. And this is the Academia, made in Italy version with A5 paper. Ooh, I love little sketchbooks like this. I'm excited to see what else is inside here. Wow, this is filled. Gosh, okay, so there's our little sticker. Creating calm is the theme of this one. Ooh, okay. Brunzeal. Oh, this is that, that, this is that one I couldn't ever pronounce, wasn't it? But these are fine liners and brush pens. Ooh, I've never seen these before. These are new. Oh, they're quite a nice size too. Let's open the pink one. So this end we have the brush nib, and then on the other end we have the little little bullet point fine liner nib end. So we have black, white, dark green, brown, khaki green, and pink. So very kind of neutral colours, and then you have the random pink one for some reason. <laughs> and in this one we have some more kind of purplish cool tones there. Very, very nice. Again, if you've used those, let me know because I'm curious. Oh, okay, so we also have a slim eraser, soft, precise erasing from Derwent. I've never seen one of these either before. That's actually a really nice sized eraser. You don't see anything like that very often. So that's very nice. We have, oh, we got a Posca. So we not only had Copics in the last box, we now have a Posca in this box. So this is like a little fine liner one, so good for small details. Next up we have a little pencil. This is a 2B pencil gold Faber from Faber-Castell. And then last but not least, we have a Faber-Castell Eco Pigment 1.0 fine liner pen. So that was a good box. I genuinely, I'm very, very impressed with that because not only did you get the full-blown sketchbook, you also got a little Posca marker, you got a ton of markers. I would say this is for sure the best valued box that I've seen so far. There is a good amount of product in here, so November, amazing, amazing box. Now we're on to December here, and this is the Christmas time box, so I'm guessing it's going to be a lot of red and green, we'll see. We'll see. I was wrong, but still, it's fine. I'm not upset. A toned sketch tile. Ooh, okay. Made with care in Great Britain. I love that they use a lot of British supplies because they're a British brand. We got a little, a little black sketchbook here in some really nice square paper. I love square things. I don't know why. Maybe it's because I'm a square. <laughs> but no, like this is this is really nice size. I do like little sketchbooks and pads like this size. We have some artwork here by Yip Fong Ray from Malaysia. Malaysia, Malaysia, Malaysia. Passionate art lover who loves to express the world by using visual language. I've only been learning art for a few years and it totally changed about the way I think and how I see the world. That's so nice. That is so unique. I love it. I really, really love that a lot. Very unique artwork. I love this a lot. I don't want to look in this and ruin it, but I just saw another Posca marker, so I'm very excited. <laughs> so there's our little zine. And in here, well, there's a ton in here as well. Wow, okay. Oh, we have a Werther's. My great grandma used to love Werther's. She had a little like jar of them on the side. So we have our sticker. Oh, we have a Posca and it's a black Posca marker. I have lost every single black Posca marker that I own. So this is very handy for me. Very, very nice. I'm glad about that. Then next up, we have a pink jelly roll pen by Sakura. I'm not a fan of jelly roll pens as much as I am the uniball ones because I just don't feel like they work as well. But I know a lot of people do really like them, so I will give it another go. We have a Dermot Sketching 2B pencil. And then last but not least, we have a metallic paint marker set from Spectrum Noir. Very cool. I actually didn't know that Spectrum Noir did paint markers, although it does say it's exclusive to Scrawler Box. So maybe that's why, I'm not sure never use those. I'm excited to try them though. Last but not least, we're on the January box. Um, and once we've opened the January box, I'm going to open up obviously that big mystery box over there. But here we go. We have January. Set that aside. We have our Zyn. Very cute, cute little. Is that an alligator or a crocodile? Alligators have the more wide nose, the more kind of like wide rectangular noses. And then crocodiles have the more like thin pointy ones so i'm guessing 
it could be either really i mean it could even be a, i think it's a dragon i've just said all that but i think it's actually a dragon because it's got scales <laughs> Oh well. So for the pad, we have a Multi Techniques Lease Lis Smooth Glatt A5, 115 pound pad of paper. So we have some nice thick quality, very smooth, no tooth paper there. Oh, we've got a Micron pen. So a Micron pen for that out. And this is quite a thick bullet nibbed Micron pen. Sticker, as always, got a cute little sticker there. January 22, Creature Comforts is the January theme. We've got a Faber Castell H pencil. I really like these. I've used these a lot, actually. They're very nice. And then we have a Tango Cherry Shocker Sour Fizz Chew Bar. I want to try this, actually. I'm going to try this, see what it's like. That was very sour. Next up, we have a Deco Brush from Karen. I just did a video on Karen markers or the Deco Brush. We actually have some. These are really good brushes, too. They're like paint pens. Really, really good. Oh, look. I really want to give some of this stuff away because I actually do have the whole collection of deco brushes So I don't need these or all of these supplies. So I'll probably do at the end of the video I will do a giveaway so I can give away some of these supplies to some of you. Um, but yeah, these are fantastic Fantastic paint pens. I really highly suggest them. I love them so much I have them in the background of all my videos. <laughs> but yeah, these are really nice I do like them a lot and the artist for this box was called roots a freelance illustrator from Birmingham. Much of our work is heavily character-based with a love for the weird and wonderful inspired by 90s pop culture and getting da lost down nature's rabbit hole. That is awesome. So that was the January box. Now we are on to the big mystery box here. Now I'm guessing again, this is something to do with a mug, but I have never had anything like this from Scholar Box before. So I'm curious to see what's actually inside it. Ooh, okay. Scroll a box, blanks, mug. Is this a new thing they're doing maybe? Or maybe this was like a limited time thing. I am not sure. I'll leave information in the description down below based on this box, but it may have just been a one-time thing or maybe they just do it now. Um, so inside here, I'm guessing is a blank mug. <laughs> just guessing. And then we have scroll a box, blanks, mug design sketchbook. So here you're able to design the actual artwork you're gonna put on your mug. And I'm not sure if that, this is like transfer paper or this is just to practice, but we have our blank mug here, very cute. And then obviously this paper is gonna completely wrap around the surface of the mug. So I guess it's just testing to see what you wanna do with it, I'm guessing. Oh, it's like, they've given me some sort of medication, they're little Tic Tacs. Well, that's probably going to give me acid reflux. We have a scroller box pencil, which is also white. I'm loving the theming of this, by the way, with the white sticker to match the porcelain mug and all that stuff. Very, just very cute branding there. And then we have porcelain brush pens. This is really cool. I want to do this now. Like I want to make some art on a mug. I really want to do that. I've never heard of these before. Edding porcelain brush pen. Honestly, I would genuinely say I don't have a lot of hope this is going to be any good, but it's scroller box and their stuff tends to be pretty darn good. So yeah, we have this and a little little mug and pencil. That is so cool. Yes, that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I really, really hope that you enjoyed it. Once again, scroller box. Thank you so much. Your supplies are just the best. I really, really love your boxes. Um, they are so well curated and I'm very... Very, very glad that I get to try them out. So yes, for now, thank you so much for watching this video. I really, really hope that you enjoyed it. Take care of yourselves and I will see you in the next video.